Okay, time for a new project. Yes, another project. My pulse motor is finished for the pulse motor build off. So, I'm um, going to have a muck around with a different setup here. If you haven't watched the last Smart Scarecrow show, I suggest you go and do so and watch um, not only Russ's uh, little bit that he had on there but also um, Sterling Allen certainly um, got very emotional with a couple of new technologies that are supposed to be coming out one he's going to have a look at or a couple he's going to have a look at which are motor generator um, setups where they have an electric motor hooked up to a generator and the generator supplies enough power to run the motor and an extra load as well Apparently only two weeks and there's one guy that has one of these setups that's going to release the plans for it so um, maybe worth a look into and um, Sterling certainly showed some emotion which um, to me means that this technology could be very real so I'm going to have a little play around with the same sort of thing here I have just one of these um, the old cheapo 850 watt generators there's some bits and pieces of one I have about five or six of them laying around so all I've done with this one is I've cut the motor in half just to get the support cage and bearing for one end of the shaft and I've put a um, drive coupling on there I have the other end of the drive coupling here which I'll have to machine out to fit on the shaft of our 24 volt DC motor so um, always seems to be using an AC generator and a DC motor and somehow um, shifting the phase between the two 90 degrees out or something like that that's just something we'll have to uh, play around with with this I can um, just turn it degree by degree on the um, DC motor and um, see what kind of effects we get whilst doing that on the output of the um, generator versus the input of the motor so I'm yet to work out how they couple the two up um, it's said that they don't use a battery in the end only to start it so it should be interesting the advantage with this one is it actually has a 12 volt charging winding in there as well with these little generators and there's only 0.6 of an ohm across that coil but I'm not sure how thick the gauge is on the wire so um, it may be possible to um, have our power going in one leg of our DC motor coming out going through this smaller winding and then back out to the batteries so we actually get a motor effect out of the generator as well so just some experimenting we're going to be doing with it I have the bits laying around this is a 24 volt DC motor it's a 0.75 kilowatt it looks large but um, it's not really because it's a permanent magnet motor and it has the old um, ferrite magnets not the U-Butte strong neodium so um, that's why it's so large so the first thing we'll have to do is knock up a frame and couple these two together and um, we'll just plug some power straight into the motor and we'll put a load on the AC side of the generator just to see what we can get in and out um, just as a standard um, system and then we'll start playing around with um, shifting phases on the motor to the generator and also see if we can't somehow run the current through the generator 12 volt coil to get some sort of motor effect out of that to take a bit of the load off of this as well so we'll go ahead knock up a frame and um We'll come back for part two.